Good morning. Good morning. We are headed to L and Compass for a phenomenal breakfast. Love the spot, been here before. Uh, can't wait to show you guys. Uh, those of you that don't know, it is in the Yacht, uh, Yacht Club Resort, which is along the boardwalk area. <music> Excited. Um, this is going to be our second time coming and now we know what to expect so um, yeah I'm excited to show you guys. Meal, entree, buffet, it's going to be good. So this spot is perfect for rope dropping Epcot. You can, if you get the earliest reservation and then you can uh, cut over to the back entrance to Epcot International uh, Gateway uh, or if you're like us today just have a great breakfast and uh, have a chill rest of your day. Yeah. That is a really, really cool shot. Yeah. yeah, it's nice out this morning, I won't lie. So Ellen Compass offers a very unique uh, option for breakfast. You can do the breakfast buffet, which has your uh, house-made granola. They have cheddar biscuits, which are absolutely to die for. Warm cinnamon rolls and uh, yogurts and, and little pastries, things of that nature. Along with that, you can include or add an entree. And so the entrees, they have the American breakfast, which would be your you know traditional two eggs any style. Uh, you can do a country ham, cheddar omelet, a crab cake benedict. My favorite, which is what I got last time, is the salted caramel French toast, salted caramel apple French toast. Uh, they have a breakfast protein bowl. Uh, we're going to add the, the menu up here for you to see, but really good options and very good price. Yes, and one thing I will know, I mean, I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure if you want anything with eggs, you have to get a, a, an entree. I don't believe that they provide any eggs on the buffet, so if you're looking for a little added protein or something, you probably want to add an entree. Very good note, because last time, as I mentioned, I got the stuffed French toast, thinking I could just get some scrambled eggs on the, uh, on the buffet. They actually don't have that option on the buffet. It's more so, uh, like I say, your, your pastries, things of that nature. So if you're looking for protein and eggs, might want to order that as your entree. Sarah's plate from the buffet. I, admittedly, it's mostly stuff I can give Marco, but um, I'm <laughs> obviously going to taste test it first. <laughs> and here is my first plate. I went with the country omelet, so wait on that. Got a little bit of sweets here and some fruit. And Marco just dropping stuff on the floor. <laughs> Alright, so I got the American breakfast, all American breakfast, I'm not sure uh, which, which is the correct uh, way to say it, but um, I got two eggs, four comes with potatoes, 
I got the option of bacon. You can get sausage or bacon, and then you get the option of white or wheat bread. Um, that is what I got. I'm excited to give it a try. I am also very excited. I got the ham and cheese omelet and the potatoes on the side. As we stated earlier, I need protein, and there isn't really protein on the buffet, so this is a, a good option. Order your protein here, and then get the sweets and uh, carbs on the buffet. Yeah. Giving an update here, the omelet is absolutely amazing. I'm a little full, uh, so don't let this, what's left over, um, misinterpret. How was yours? Um, mine is good. I love a good classic breakfast. Um, the bacon is on point. I don't like wobbly bacon. I like crunchy bacon, so this is perfect. Um, potatoes are good. They got like onions mixed in, so if you don't like that, maybe just keep that in mind. Um, no, yeah, really good. Got that crunchy bacon. Yep. <laughs> and Margot, we have her set up with her Nemo. Everybody knows that she loves Nemo right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, beautiful day. All right, so we just got done having breakfast at El Encompass. I am stuffed. Love that place. Um, again, it's a great little spot. It's pretty unique how they offer the buffet and entrees together. Um, pricing, yeah, well. yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's overpriced. I mean, especially for where we're at. So that's a plus as well. Yeah. Also, as uh, we'll show you guys here, um, great little. Uh, place to like start off you know have your breakfast they have nice bathrooms that you can go uh, I had a personal one that uh, Sarah changed Margo's diaper in and then immediately outside they have a water bottle filling station a little fuel rod changing station a uh, great little spot to hit up and get ready for the park so so what is your favorite part of breakfast stuff uh our server was really great he was like attentive but not too crazy um yes uh hold that thought totally agree with that rafa was his name yeah and if you guys get him very very good so shout out to you and back to you um yeah i mean i know it sounds crazy to say that he was like a really big part but i mean he was just like super good with margo super just easy no pressure none of that um I loved, he kept calling her princess. Everything was, does princess need anything? Yeah. <laughs> um, honestly, just the way the staff treats you there in this resort in general is really good. Um, honestly though, the overnight oats were really good. I got those for Margo, but I tried them um, and they were really tasty. I don't make them like that, so I need the recipe. That's why I asked, it's funny, like, like the little, the differences, like what do you enjoy? What did I enjoy? I actually love the, uh, the cheddar biscuits uh, with the sausage gravy on top. That's really good. Get on on top of so a lot of you guys know uh, D23, Destination D23 is going on right now. Uh, we unfortunately did not get tickets in time, so kind of bummed out on that. But those of you that don't know, D23 is a membership that you can join up join up <laughs> that you can join and it comes with a lot of perks you get a cool little card I'll uh, upload that so you can see what it looks like uh, you do get some discounts and stuff I've noticed that it's more so like out in California yeah. so I think it's more so for like maybe Disneyland uh, we actually had one time in Epcot that they you know we asked could we use d23 for discounts and the lady was like what <laughs> she didn't even know what it was so I think it's more so for Disneyland. However, Destination D23 is going on now. Uh, it's at the convention center um, of the Contemporary. And there's a lot of announcements coming up soon for what's to come for Disney, Disney Parks. Uh, actually, let me join in really quick. I had it going on earlier and then I stopped. But there's a live stream right now that actually uh, Josh tomorrow is discussing a lot of these announcements um, while Weston is pulling up the live stream um, I do want to know I believe that there's a free membership and then you can do the gold gold membership. I get very confused because it's a gold membership but the card is silver or platinum Black so it's like my brain can't really compute um, but yeah so I think that's 
probably like 100, 140, I don't know, I can't remember how much it is a year, but it's just an annual fee. Um, and we got like a cute little Mickey statue, and you also get quarterly magazines, um, so that's pretty cool for little collector's items and things like that. But uh, yeah, I think Wesson has the live stream. And try to make lovable. Do you guys feel and like you're there? So if, if I do Gonzo for a long time. <laughs> so again, this is going on at the Contemporary right now. Uh, it's going to be going on all weekend. They have a lot of uh, events. And right now is the, uh, the seminar, the conference, where they're kind of announcing the announcements to come to Disney. Um, so really excited to see the, uh, you know, what's, what's to come. Yeah. So. Look forward to it. Uh, that's going to be it. So I hope you enjoyed and catch you next time. Yeah. See you next time.